My name is Stephen Takasugi, and I'm the composer of the piece Sideshow. We will be performing Sideshow with Klangform Wien. Yes, Klangform is amazing. Uh, yesterday, it was quite an extraordinary tutti rehearsal, and the faces and the intensity of these amazing performers is just out of this world. So, um, yeah. Working with great musicians, you know, they just take the piece and they make it their own. <laughs> so they claim it and it's no longer mine. And that's exactly what a composer would like for to happen to one's music. Yeah, the audience will see eight performers on stage, uh, often uh, in very strange uh, theatrical situations. Uh, there's a lot of doubling that's happening, uh, twins, uh, doppelgangers, uh, mirrors. Uh, my big metaphor for this piece is that Sideshow is a house of mirrors. So you don't know what's and who's doing what, where things are coming from, because of the electronics are creating a kind of uh, uh, machine for deception. And that's really very important for me, this metaphor of deception and confusion, ambiguity, and, uh, and, and mirroring. Uh, Sideshow is based on the uh, sideshows of the Coney Island amusement parks around the turn of the cent early part of the 20th century. So uh, dark sideshows, uh, human beings, animals being put on display, made into spectacles. And I'm attempting to make a connection between that and new music. Yes, I believe that uh, I'm commenting on the notion of early American entertainment institutions and drawing parallels between those forms that were rather exploitative to humans and animals and making parallels to that with are today's uh, current notions such as reality television and today's basically political arena that resemble these kinds of notions of spectacle. There's a subtext. There's six aphorisms by Karl Kraus that run through secretly through the piece. One can read them later in, 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 or earlier in the program notes. Uh, but. Uh, I'd like to make a connection between the early entertainment of American yeah, institutions of entertainment with the crisis of European civilization in the early 20th century, particularly uh, in Vienna. And I call this uh, piece uh, my Vienna piece. Karl Kraus, of course, is the famous uh, polemicist Full of irony, uh, his aphorisms are particularly strong and I use them in the piece. I have a favorite. I have actually two favorites that I perhaps can give an example of. Uh, one of them is when, uh, when animals yawn, they have a human face. And I think this one's particularly nice because the, the, the piece uses the face theater so much. Yeah, and the other one is pertaining to Vienna. Uh, v uh, Vienna has beautiful surroundings to which Beethoven often escaped. And it's very subtle, but uh, when you think about it, uh, a culture and uh, sat being saturated by sociality that, uh, and one needs to often get away from all this, right? How do we escape? from all the saturated uh, I ironic culture in some sense. So that's, that's particularly one of my favorites. So.